Okay, repeat after me. I cannot cook and that is okay because I have Emmy to lead the way and it rhymes. Woo! Hello, my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. If you wanna work with me and my team, go to healthyemmy.org. So here's the thing. I believe that you can cook. I know that you can. We all can do what we put our minds to, right? I believe that you're probably like me and you can cook you just don't want to. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three easy, quick recipes for the people like us. Welcome to the club. For the people like us that hate cooking, we need to get ourselves a lot of these microwavable rice, microwavable veggies. You can get micro rice, you can get micro quinoa, you can get micro blends, and then the micro veggies. If you don't wanna be roasting, slicing, dicing, these are the name of the game because you can throw them in the microwave and they are done in no time. So for our first meal, let's grab a bowl. And I got this at Whole Foods, but I've seen this everywhere. And every uh, package is gonna have different directions. This one says to pour it in the bowl, then we're gonna cover it up and into the microwave it goes for four minutes. Now on top of this rice, we are going to put some broccoli. This is also going to go in the microwave and let's see, I have to pierce it. Do I pierce it? No. Oh, yep, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna pierce this guy. All right. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put this on top of what's already going on here so I can do these at the same time. And I'm gonna allow those to cook and then I'm going to get my last two ingredients which are canned chickpeas and a lemon. So I have got my chickpeas and I have a lemon. Garbanzo beans and chickpeas are the same thing. I'm gonna open this up and drain it Canned fruit, canned vegetables, canned potatoes, totally fine to have. I often get asked about that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you think that this gal is gonna be in here cooking chickpeas from scratch, I'll catch you after I turn my butter too. Not gonna happen. All right, it's been four minutes. Let's see if my little stackaroony actually worked. It did, you can stack, baby. So we've got our rice, which has been beautifully cooked. We've got our delicious broccoli. And all we're gonna do is add it in here, add in as much as you'd like. All right, and then we're gonna take our chickpeas and we are going to squeeze some lemon on top, but for the sake of the aesthetic, I'm just gonna place it on the side here for the moment. Then we're gonna take some nutritional yeast. Now. If you're not doing this for the sake of a YouTube video, you mix it all together. But because I'm just showing you this meal and wanna make it look nice and beautiful, this is it looking nice and beautiful. So here we have meal number one for the person that can cook but chooses not to. Microwave rice, canned chickpeas that have been drained and rinsed, microwave broccoli, nutritional yeast, and lemon. Mix it all together and enjoy and save time and energy with this meal. Save time, gain energy. How about that? Next up, because we loved the bowl so much, we are gonna have a Mediterranean bowl, this time using microwaved quinoa. So we just used microwave rice, but now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do the microwave quinoa. All right, this guy goes directly into the microwave. This side up. We're gonna cook this guy for four minutes. On top of the quinoa, we're gonna be adding some artichoke hearts. You can get them canned or you can get them in a bottle like this. You just wanna make sure that there's no oil added. Additionally, we're gonna put on some roasted red peppers and we're also gonna put on some garlic hummus. I was about to just say garlic. This is the Good Neighbors brand hummus. It doesn't have any oil added. You wanna make sure that you are getting a no oil added brand. Cedars does have a no oil added and then Good Neighbor has no oil added as well. And because I have some leftover broccoli, I'm gonna put this on the bowl as well. If you have cucumber, this would go really great on this bowl too. All right, it's been about four minutes. 
take our quinoa, just put that right into the bowl. <laughs> if I can open the bag, I can do multivariable calculus and I can't open a bag of quinoa. All right, quinoa into the bowl. Beautiful, we love to see it. Fluff it up a little bit. Then we're gonna take our artichoke hearts. Then our roasted red peppers, some broccoli. And then the best part, a nice big dollop of garlic hummus, baby. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. It is so good. This hummus, sponsor me. Seriously. And there we go, we got a med bowl. And here we have bowl number two, microwave quinoa, canned artichoke hearts, roasted red peppers, steam and bag broccoli, no oil added hummus. Bada bing, bada bang, baby. And then moving on to the final meal for the person that chooses not to cook, even though we know that you can, we are going to be having some lettuce tacos. Begin with your hearts of romaine. Take the romaine heart, and just like that, you've got yourself a little bow. On the plate, you're going to lay your romaine in little boats. Then we are going to take beans and salsa, and we are going to put them together. First, drain your beans. You can use any type of beans that you would like. I found this organic bean trio at Whole Foods, which is skinny beans, pinto beans, and black beans all mixed together. So I'm going to rinse and drain this. All right, so the beans have been drained and rinsed, and then I'm gonna take salsa, and I'm going to mix it in with the beans. Then remember this rice from meal number one? Yep, we're gonna be cooking this up and mixing that in. toss this in with the rice and beans. You know, rice is something people always say, I don't know how to spice my rice. I say, take some salsa and just mix it in there. All right, we'll mix this all together. And then, you know what's coming next. We're gonna take our little lettuce boats, lay these in there. How beautiful is that? So what you do, you take it just like this, and then you eat it just like a taco, just like this right down the gullet, just like that. So here we have meal number three for the person that doesn't cook. You take your romaine, you take your rice, you take your salsa, you take your, be your beans, <laughs> mix it all together, put it on a lettuce boat, and you have some gorgeous, just gorgeous tacos. All right, my honeys, I have more food in this house than I could ever need, and I gotta do something with it. Hey, if you are still watching, comment boat because these are romaine boats. Okay. I love you honeys and I'll see you in my next one.